humans live longer than ever before. Unfortunately, the fragile human body can scarcely keep pace with this modern development. Body parts will have to be replaced more frequently. Nowadays, just about everybody gets an implant during their lifetime. In future, that number will only sharply increase. Metal hip replacements, knee replacements and heart valves. Implants can no longer be ignored. On a worldwide scale, more than a million hip replacement operations are carried out. If anything, implants form an even greater growth sector than that of biotechnology. The problem is, however, that these artificial body parts are, in practice, very much prone to infection. Well, from decades of research since the medical introduction of implants, we can observe that infection occurred within the first 72 hours and was rarely seen after the first week. But recently a mysterious phenomenon has been reported in the medical literature. Scientists refer to it as metallosis maligna. People who have benefited from implants for considerable years still seem to be at risk of getting infected. Every implant reacts against the human body, the so-called graft versus host disease. This disease is often aggravated by a bacterial infection around the implant itself. During the placing of the metal implant, the onset of this graft versus host disease is delayed by a specific bacteria known as Streptococcus metallomaligna. The body tissue around it can become infected by this bacteria. If an initial infection goes undetected and lies dormant for several years, the implant in turn can be afflicted. When this point is reached, a growth process will take place within the metal of the implant. This shows that the implant acts as a source for metal tissue growth that rapidly spreads throughout the body. Through this process of growth, important organs and vital body parts are irreversibly damaged. Initially, the body tissue around the implant becomes irritable and progressively weaker. During the growth process, more lumps appear underneath the skin. During the next phase, metal tissue growth penetrates the skin and becomes external to the body. Sections of the body disappear completely, to be replaced by solid metal tissue. A curious fact about metallosis maligna is its inherent ability to start and stop at its own discretion. The duration of the disease varies from person to person. Little is known about the disease metallosis maligna. We know roughly how it arises and how it affects the human body. We're now going to do some simple tests to see how its affected body parts function. Can you make a steady tone with your voice?
Now, can you please try to stand up? I, I, I know it'll be difficult, but I'd like to see how you cope with walking. Metallosis maligna can be seen as the start of a new generation of afflictions which occur as a direct result of mankind's increased longevity. In institutes worldwide, research programs are being set up in order to uncover methods of cure and prevention. Will science succeed in finding a way to combat this extraordinary disease?